Here's the homework for lesson three of module six for third grade. Write your name first, please. Don't forget it. And this table shows the favorite subjects of third graders at Cayuga Elementary. And here's our title, favorite subjects. And we have the different subjects listed here in this column. And this column shows the number of student votes each subject got. Is it use the table to color the bar graph. All right, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see. I can show the table and the graph at the same time. And since I'm coloring in, I'm going to change my marker a little bit here. All right. So number of student votes. Math has 18. So that means I'm going to go up to 18. And look where math is here. So an important safety tip. You can see where science is. And then the column that you color in for science is directly above the word for science. It's that easy. So don't put like history. Don't color this one here for history because it, that's not right above where it says history. Just you'd be surprised maybe how many how many students do that. So math is 18, so it's going to go up to the eight the line for 18 right here. And what I like to do is start at the top right there so I can make a sharp line, and then I can color in everything underneath it. And if you can't stay inside the lines, that's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect. ELA is 13 votes. Well, 13, this shows only even-numbered. Uh, this is an even numbered scale so 13 is going to be halfway in between 12 and 14 so it's going to go up to here or about as close as I can draw it to halfway and I'll shade that in and if you do you know if you want to you can certainly there's nothing wrong with going back and cleaning up some of these if you go way outside you might as well just erase a little bit just to make it look a little bit because it really this is keep in mind this is a graph and it's really all about getting it to look right so you want you want it you don't want it to be too sloppy it doesn't have to be perfect but it's, it's got to look good too and for history 17 dun, 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 that's going to be between 16 and 18 so right about there and then I can go down from there. And science, it has a question mark. But we can see where science is. That's 14. I'm sure we'll have a question about that soon. Yeah, here it is. How many students voted for science? Uh, we figured out that that was 14. How many more students voted for math than for science? Write a number sentence to show your thinking. And get used to doing that on these kinds of questions. Uh, math and science. So math was 18, science is 14. So how many more? That's a 18 minus 14. And the difference there is 4. Four more, or actually, this might be an easier way to write it. Got an idea. Math got four more votes. Which gets more votes, math and ELA together? Or history and science together. So we got to figure out math and ELA together, history and science together, and then we have to compare the two. So math and ELA together, that's 18 plus 13.
And together that's uh, 11, 21, 31. And then history and science together are 17 and 14. which is also 31. You know it's if you take one from the 18 and give it to the 13, you've got 17 plus 14. And I'm out of room to write my uh, answer here, but I can say, I can just write it down here at the bottom of the page and just write over all this stuff that's down here. Uh, They, oh, the two groups both got the same, the two groups got the same votes. And this bar graph shows the number of liters of water Skylar uses this month. And so each week it shows how many liters of water she, she used. It doesn't say she drank them. I don't know what she's doing with the water. She's just using it. Um, during which week does she use the most water? Well, you can see that they're all starting from... The left end, so the longer piece of tape is the longest number, so that's week four. And be careful that you pay attention to what the question is asking. It didn't ask how many liters of water did she use, so the answer here is not, it's not 65, it's week four. And the least would be the shortest, the shortest uh, bar, which would be week three. How many more liters does Skylar use in week four than in week two? So here you got to write your subtraction sentence. So week four was 65 because that's like halfway in between 60 and 70. So I'm going to say 65 minus week two, which was 50. And that's pretty good subtraction because we just subtract the tens, which equals 15. Two more liters in week four. Write a number sentence to show how many more liters of water Skylar uses during weeks two and three combined. How many liters of water she uses during weeks two and three combined? So two is 50. 3 is 40, so we have to combine 50 and 40. 50 plus 40 equals 90 liters. Uh, how many liters does she use in total? Well, we've already added together week 2 and week 3, right? So now we just have to add week 1 and week 4. To that. So I could say 90 plus, right, we still need week one and week four, so that's 55 plus 65. You know, or you could just write down the, the numbers for each one. You could just, all you could also write down. 55 plus 50 plus 40 plus 65. You could write that too. That would be fine. All right, let's see now. Um, that's 110. 50 plus 60 is 110. And uh, 110 and 90 is 200. And then I still have to add the two fives. So that's 210.
if Skylar uses 60 liters in each of the four weeks next month, will she use more or less than she uses this month? If she uses 60 liters in each of the four weeks next month. So how much, so we have to know how many liters that is. So that it would be 60 times four. And that's the same, or 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60. Well, 60 times four is the same as six times four times 10. So that is, this is 24 times 10 is 240. So, um, she, We'll use more water next month. Right, and you got to have, you don't have to do it the same way I did it. You could do it with addition. That would be fine. And you can even do the subtraction, subtract 240 minus 210, and say that she would use 30 more liters of water next month. You could have that too. That would be all that would be bonus and then we have one more here complete the table below to show the data displayed in the bar graph in problem two so we go over here look at the bar graph and we have week numbers one two three and four so we need week number one two three and four and liters of water are That's 55, 50, 40, 55. And the last one, week four, I think it was 65. Yeah, 65. 